Hey Capricorns, thank you guys for tuning in to your tarot reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also check your North Node or any other prominent placements in your chart. Keep in mind it won't resonate with every single Capricorn, alright? So take what resonates and read the rest. Also offering um, numerology readings, infos in the description box. Also infos in the description box for personal readings, okay? Um... Again, hit that like, hit that subscribe, guys, if this resonates with you. I always appreciate when you guys click on that thumbnail and check out the reading. It's greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. We have success. Yes. So, Capricorn, this heaven starting out. So, it says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So, we already starting off with something lovely. Let's see what else there is. Okay. Self-esteem. Lots of lots of signs are getting this. And it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay, so Capricorn, are you um, putting yourself out there to help other people maybe overcome some self-esteem issues? All right, what else? We have denial. Hmm. Who's in denial, Capricorn? Is it you or somebody in your energy? I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay, cool. I love it. And on the bottom of the deck, we have health. So some of you guys might be focusing on your health. I know it is the new year. So um, also, guys, please excuse my nails. They look a hot mess right now. But hey, okay, that ain't going to stop me from doing the readings. Um, some of you guys might be working out, eating right, you know. Mm. Ooh, so we have the four of pentacles and a star. Hmm. Ooh, Capricorn. Are you holding back your emotions for someone or is someone doing this to you? Yeah. Yep, the Knight of Cups and the Emperor. Ooh, Capricorn. The Nine of Swords on the bottom. Child. Yes. Okay. So you have someone that um, they want to give this love offer, but they might be being really stubborn about it. They're holding back. They're not really expressing themselves. Why is this four of pentacles here? Yeah. This is all energy, the three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody, seven of cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody wants to work with you, uh, Capricorn, or work things out with you, but they're not saying it for whatever reason. They're not They're not telling you, or this is how it was in the past. Yeah, eight of swords. Somebody wants, ooh, the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yes, somebody wants to heal y'all's connection, but they're not saying it. What the hell? Child, Capricorn, what kind of person are you dealing with? They're not saying it. This could also be you, Capricorn, that wants to uh, heal something, but they're not saying saying so. They're not, maybe they're lying to themselves. Could be a fire sign for some of you, particularly a Leo with this King of Wands here. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody is very, very passionate about you. Could be a Taurus. Someone is very passionate about you. Um... This could also be someone that love bombs you, too. Like they come in, they're passionate, they're lovey-dovey, they're this, that, the other, and then they just ghost. And they just go away. Ooh. Cards are going everywhere. Hold on, Capricorn. Ooh. So we have the one of the cards that fell is the the knight of wands yeah didn't i say that this person i feel like it's like an in and out energy because they're stubborn as hell this nine of cups fell out too they're stubborn as hell capricorn this this and it could be you they might be seeing you as the stubborn person capricorn all right um but they do see you as their wish fulfillment. You may have moved away from them because you're, you, you know, 
you're tired of the fuckery. Like it's like why do you why do you keep showing up, showing me all this love, and then you disappear? That's the vibe that I'm getting. They do want to offer a commitment though. They do want to offer you a commitment. But they're in their head about it. They may also have some commitment issues too that they're working on. This person has a hard time opening up. They don't open up easily. Okay? They want to tell you that they want to be with you, but they're not telling you for whatever reason. Capricorn, this is very strange. This is really strange. <laughs> Let's pull some love oracles because Capricorn, this is someone you're in separation with. This is what I'm picking up on. It doesn't have to be, okay? Um, Y'all's reading is really to the point. Y'all's readings always are to the point, though. Yeah, they want to, do you see how, how this Knight of Cups is facing this Emperor? I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you see how, how this is facing the Emperor here. They're, they're, they they want to come with an offer, a love offer. And with these two cards together next to each other, this is a solid offer, okay? But this person may also be hugely stubborn, very, very stubborn, very set in their ways, um, and they know they're going to have to start, they're going to have to make some changes if they want to have some type of commitment. They know they're going to have to make some changes and they may want to make the changes, but they may feel like it's, it now it's too late because, you know, you may have moved on with someone else. They're really, really in their head. Capricorn, it's going to be different for all of you why they're in their head over the connection, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's a commitment issue. They they know they they know they're going to have to open up if they get into a, a a solid commitment. They know they're going to have to open up. And this person has problems with opening up. They they like to have they like to have a um, they like to have relationships where they can just come and go as they please. However, they don't want you doing that though. <laughs> they don't want you coming and going as you please, but they want to come and go as they please. And they know if they come back around, they got to stop doing this in and out shit. They got to quit doing this, not opening up and all this other fuckery. Or they're not going to have a, ch it, it don't, it's, they're not going to stand a chance with you. What I tell you, this fell on the floor, separation. Yeah, yeah, Capricorn, you're in separation with whoever this is, okay? Take it how it resonates, Capricorn. But they know, they know, they want this commitment with you, um, Capricorn, but I feel like they don't want to make the changes or they're hesitant to make the changes because they know that some shit has to change on their end. Keep an open mind. Now, this, this could be you. This could be this person. And romantic feelings came out as well. Yeah, they, they're, they're going to have to express themselves. And I feel like they are. Um, They will. They will express themselves. But I feel like when they first come around, they might still be in this energy. They might still be in this holding back, Um, you know, stuff like that. They want to heal it. They want to heal the connection. And I feel, <coughs> excuse me. I feel like they are, yeah, they're, they're still holding back Capricorn. True love on the bottom. Yeah, they feel like they feel like y'all are a match. The emperor is the, is the divine masculine, okay? They feel like you're their match. They don't want you to get away, but they're hesitant to make the changes and, and the they're hesitant to make the changes that need to be made. Which includes opening up and not being this in and out energy that they've been doing. You may they they may also be afraid that you might have somebody else, because we have the, we have the Knight of Cups, the Emperor, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Excuse me, and Capricorn, you might have somebody else. You might have other options. This is what they're worried about, though. Are you dealing with somebody else? They don't want you to deal with someone else. Capricorn. 
And they know that's that's they know if they don't open up and they don't step the fuck up, then that's ultimately what's going to happen. You're going to be you want to move on to somebody else. I want to see you right now. Yeah. For a lot of you, you're not talking to this person. For most of you. I'm not the same person. I've changed. Hmm. So they may have uh, changed. Or may, they may try to attempt to change. Me, myself, and I by Beyonce. That might. I feel like that's your energy, Capricorn. I miss hearing your voice. I think Taurus got that one too. So you, some of you guys might be dealing with a Taurus. My addiction is you. Yeah, they they don't want you to to move on with someone else, and they know that's what it's gonna boil down to, though. If they don't step up, I love you more than you realize. Yeah, they this person has a lot of feelings for you, and I feel like they're not expressing it, or they never really expressed it to you. I just wasn't ready for you. Hmm. Do I have to beg you? <laughs> oh, Capricorn, Capricorn. <laughs> Do you ever think of me? Yeah, Capricorn, yeah, this, this person. We're not making love no more. Taurus got this too. Y'all are, a lot of y'all dealing with a Taurus. They got that too. A lot of these Taurus got as well, guys. I hope it's not too late. I told y'all they feel like you've moved on. They feel like you've moved on to somebody else, uh, Capricorn. All right, Cap, that's y'all's reading. I appreciate y'all so much for watching, all right? If this resonates with you, hit that like, hit that subscribe, guys. And until next time, y'all, peace out.